and welcome to the Babble Box with me, your host, Warren. I am back. I am back. I am making a video for the first time in probably like two months. Craziness is happening at this moment. I just wanted to say I am really excited. I have a new idea. I am taking this somewhere. We are going to make it. We're going to make it work. And it's going to be awesome. So I am really excited and hope that you stick around for this really exciting ride. So my new show is called The Babble Box and it is just going to be a weekly little video, not with pens and pencils, but it's going to be a weekly video where I just go over, you know, whatever I want to talk about, gossip and pop culture happenings, my personal life, because there's always something crazy happening with me, and just, you know, whatever else I feel like talking about with you and sharing with you, because I am sometimes an overshare. I once had a problem pooping. So let's just get right into it. There has been so much happening in the world of celebrities. So I guess that we should just start with Baby Northwest because Baby Northwest, I want to see you. I cannot stand that you have been around this earth for well over a month at this point and I have yet to see your gorgeous face. I don't care what anyone says, this baby is going to be the divine spirit. It is going to be a beautiful baby and I just, I need to see it. I just wish that Kim would pull like a Prince William and Kate and just, I wish she just would have walked out of the hospital holding the baby and been like, whatever, I don't need the money because Kim, you don't need the money. You don't need to sell this baby. We all love you. Well, we don't all love you, but I love you. And I just feel like you don't, you don't need to sell your baby. Just bring it out. Let's see it. In other celebrity news, we have two hot messes that are just causing a stir, right? First of all, Amanda Vines is trying to set fire to a driveway to some old lady that doesn't even know who Amanda Bynes is is or what she's doing and Amanda Bynes is getting herself into a 5150 and now her mother has temporary conservatorship and I just think that this is probably the best thing for Amanda. I am with you guys. I did find some of what Amanda was posting on Twitter very entertaining, but I am a concerned citizen and when I saw that she was like, 20 minutes posting Drake is fugly, and then 20 minutes later, Drake, I want to bone you. I just, I was like, girl, is she ain't right. She ain't right. And then, to top it all off in Celebrity Crazy Cray, we have Lindsay, and she is out of rehab. I want to support her, but I just feel like, I just read that she was partying, and... <sighs> girl, get a grip. Get a grip of your life. We are here for you. We want to support you. But if you are going to pull this shit again, we are not going to be here for you. We are just, I love you, girl. But uh, this is it. This is it. I, I ain't going to do it anymore. So I also feel like I really need to be open with you guys and honest with you guys and tell you that I am feeling personally attacked. I have had so many run-ins with birds lately. First of all, a peacock comes out of nowhere in our neighborhood and basically chases me down and jumps on top of me. But it was just, it was too much. And then... Like three days later, I'm filming a video for my Diva and the Diamonds, which I definitely encourage you to check out. And a hummingbird just like right in front of me. And then, oh, I'm getting loud. And then I went to Panera for lunch with my two homies and we were sitting outside and then there were like 12 black birds. And they were literally preying on me. They wanted 
my noodles, they wanted my chicken Caesar salad, and they wanted my lemon water. And I was just like, no, I ain't having any of this. So I just, I hate birds, you guys. They are terrifying creatures. They are just so terrifying. In other news of predators in my life, I am a Big Brother fan, and I just feel like Big Brother has a bunch of evil, mean predators. They don't care about people, and it's not just Aaron. It is Aaron, Gina Marie, Amanda, Spencer, Andy's said things, and then no one cares no one in that house cares. Luckily, we've got Alyssa, and this is why I am rooting for Alyssa, and you can just argue with me if you want, but Alyssa isn't putting up with it. Alyssa knows what was said is wrong, and she ain't playing. So do not tell me that Alyssa is not a good person. I have been a fan of Alyssa since I knew that she was Rachel Riley's sister, but... I have personally fallen in love with Alyssa because she is a good person. All these other people are not playing the game right. They are letting mean people win. Amanda is going to win this game, and I can't do anything about it. I can't. I just feel that there is too much going on in this world, and I need to be the voice of reason. I am here for the people, and I am here for you. And together, we can be amazing. So, I just want to thank you for watching this week's Babble Box. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye, babies!